Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make first prize from Baldi's Basics and Education. This is by far my favorite character from all four characters that I made from Baldi's Basics and Education. Um, this was the most complicated one, but I love the way it turned out. Um, you guys could be the judge of that. Um, there's four other characters I made out of Baldi's Basics and Education. If you guys haven't seen those, there's a link down below. Go check them out guys and let me know what you guys think. Uh, without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so these are the colors I used to make a uh, first prize. I used blue, white, and green because it's kind of like a a bluish green tint to uh, little pipes I guess that he's made out of. Mix that all up. Aqua color. Nice little aqua color. I like this color. Really nice color. And so I started shaping the heart. Regular red. Make a nice little shape heart. Make sure it's even on both sides. I wanted to, the back to be round too. Uh, the back had to be good because you could see the back and the front. So I had to make sure both sides uh, look nice. So nice little heart. Had to smooth out the sides to make it look a little bit more rounder, a little bit more chubbier. Anyway, so these are for the pipes, or for the little box square, a little cart, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if there's an actual name for it, but we'll call it a little cart for now. A little box cart. Um, I, I noticed that this tool works a lot better make it smooth, make the little um, cylinder shapes a lot smoother, the little ropes or whatever you want to call them, a lot smoother. So here I'm getting the shape, the square shape for the front end and the back end of the little cart. I uh, just had to make sure that the heart will be able to fit inside of it. So I had to make a little square around the heart. Make sure the heart was. Make sure the square was big enough to fit the heart inside of it. So now I got my little heart size. Uh, we'll start uh, connecting all the edges to make it look, to make it flow a lot smoother. Uh, connect them together, make it look like it's just one whole box shape. There's a little piece that it has inside. All, all four sides have the same shape. So as soon as I get one, I can repeat that one to the next one. Well, for this, I start off doing a, just the front end and the back end. So see, I just trace over it. Make sure it's the same size. I'm gonna use these two for the front. Like I said, the front and the back, because um, uh, the rest they have to go on I have to put them in a microwave a little strip you see the little blue, blue strip uh, on the beginning I had to microwave them and then glue them together that's the only way it would have worked so I'm just putting it all together nice and smooth so it looks like one flowing pipe just smoothing out the edges um, guys, if you guys don't have any tools, you guys don't worry about it. Use a Q-tip or a toothpick. It works exactly the same. Um, I usually work with uh, Q uh, not Q-tips, uh, toothpicks. Uh, toothpicks works really. Uh, they look, they work perfectly fine. If you guys don't have any tools, Your fingers work perfect to uh, to blend all of them in. 
to blend the clay in. It looks ex just perfectly fine. So these are my two squares that I used. Now these are the little wires that are coming out of the heart, a little green wire. Attach it a little bit to the heart, it could stand out a little bit more. Uh, these I'm gonna shape the wheels with. So I just rolled it out again into a cylinder. I use a lot of cylinders, <laughs> especially for this uh, baldy character that I've been doing lately. Um, if you guys haven't seen the three episodes of, uh, or three videos, the three other characters, <laughs> the three other characters I did with uh, Baldi. Uh, make sure you guys click on the link below, and you, it'll take you to all three videos. Uh, let me know which one's your favorite, guys. Um, I think this is my favorite one by far because it's, uh, it's just the technique. I guess the it's just the way it looked. I, I liked it. I like the way it looked. Um, being that it's a 2D form in the actual game, it's just 2D, and I turned it into a 3D form, made it that much better. That I, that I like it a lot better. That's one of the reasons why I like it more. But um, I, I like the way it looked. I thought it looked exactly the same as the one in the game. But I mean, you guys could judge me on that. You guys could leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, if you guys liked it or not. If you guys think that it looked like the one in the game or not. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me also let me know if, uh, which one's your favorite character. If you guys saw all three videos, let me know which one's your favorite one. And if you guys want to see uh, something else, what other characters you guys want to make. It doesn't have to be from Bali. It could be from any cartoon or anything. Let me know. So uh, I made all four wheels and I wanted to make the wheels actually roll. Uh, that's what my intentions were so I put um, this is what I made uh, to make the wheels roll better or to actually roll there's the little device I wanted to make but at the end it didn't work out and I'll show you guys how it did not <laughs> work out um, these are the hands I'm making here there's my little chubby little chubby <laughs> chubby uh, hands uh, shaping the chubby hands. That's a tongue twister. Um, so there you go. I'll make sure it fits right. And once I see that they're a nice shape, I gotta see that they're both the right size. Make sure they're both the right size. I think the right one's a little bit bigger, so I take them off. Shape it again. Look pretty good. So now I'll start rounding them off at the front. That's what they look like on the video game. Look like they're round in front. So not for the fingers, not for the little chubby round fingers and thumbs. I accidentally uh, made six fingers for one hand. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> Just what I did. Uh, you guys will see in a little bit that I, there was an extra finger left over. <laughs> so yeah, it was just counting. Obviously, I count around. <laughs> this is me counting the fingers. Make sure I had five for each hand, but for some reason I made six fingers for one hand. But anyways, this is me rolling the, the thumb and the fingers and just pasting them on. Little round chubby fingers. Kind of looks like a cat paw. So I just put it up for now. The other hand, the thumb, and the thumb and the five fingers. <laughs> so there you go. See, I still have one left over for some reason. Just threw it out the way. 
now I have to make sure that they fit the little square. So they're gonna get into the oven. Out of the oven, nice freshly baked out of the oven. It's the hand stuck to the little front uh, square. The front end of the cube is the heart right out of the oven and the wheels. Um, I had to do it this way because it's the easiest and fastest way to do it. If I build all, because if you guys see it, I could just cut it the size that it needs, like I'm doing here. And I could just glue all the sides the way I did. Because if I was to make all four sides, it wouldn't add up because um, if I made all four sides, and then glue them together, it'll, it wouldn't look right. It'll look like uh, like I glue four sides together, but it's not the way it's supposed to look on the game. It, the way in the game, it looks like, um, like it's all a continuous pipe. So that's what I wanted to go for. I'm just measuring, I'm just measuring um, all the other sides, gluing them on. The table. Put it to the top. Put the top on straight. Uh, make sure that the, you know how there's a little vertical or a little uh, angle to it in the inside of the square. You have to make sure that those are facing the same way. Oh, the little finger, the little thumb fell out, so I had to glue it back on. There you go. There's a little box. And now I have to put the little, um, little pipe that goes at an angle inside. I was just measuring it. Put it on top. Blend it in. See, uh, we'll see what I mean. You guys can blend it in with your finger. It's completely fine. You guys don't have any tools. You guys don't really need tools. Uh, it's fun to do it with your fingers or, like I said, with a toothpick. Um, I have another video where I do a gremlin face. I sculpt a gremlin face. Um, not with polymer clay, but with regular gray clay. And um, it came out pretty well. It's just, uh, I just used the toothpick to sculpt the whole thing so uh, I'll show you guys that video if you guys subscribe to the channel you guys can see that video when I upload it uh, this is me making the hose the whole contraption with the wheels uh, spinning this is the way I was going to do it glue one at the end so the, so the wheel won't slip off that's what the little black dot was for so it like that um, Measure it, cut it off, and I glue that piece of uh, <clears throat> pipe to the to the box. It worked for a quick second, but then it kept falling off. Uh, I'll show you right now. So I rode and I kept falling off that way, and I kept doing it. I, I tried it a bunch of times, guys. It's not the only time I tried it. I've tried it so many times and it just kept failing and failing so I just glued the wheels onto the frame itself it's a little box frame and it worked out this way too because you could just slide it across the floor <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have to turn Take all four wheels on there nice and dry like I said you can still roll it still works the same way so now to put the heart inside I had to put one of the um, shape one of the pipes and then cut one of the sides or make a hole in the side of the heart to fit the pipe in there so it could stay nice and hard and I could have actually hold the heart up um, if I just glued the heart to the side um, it could potentially fall or the glue itself would it be strong enough to hold because the heart was pretty heavy because it was just a solid 
uh, piece of clay, so it was it, it, it was pretty heavy. I don't know. If, I don't know if those little skinny pipes would be uh, able to hold the heart up if I didn't make those holes on the side of the heart. So there's the other side of the heart. Just dig it in there. Deep enough to hold uh, the pipe in there. So you have to cut the edge off to make sure it fits in there perfectly fine. Put some glue on it. Just glue it in there. Now I have to measure the other side to make sure it fits in there perfectly fine. So I'll mark my little spot. Cut it off. Shape it a little bit so it can go around the pipe. Make it glue a lot better. So this little green thing kept falling kept falling out of the little green wire. I had to glue it at least a little like three or four times. So there you go, the heart. Nice and centered. It looks good. I like the way it looks. So keeping it this way all right now for the head um, this is the mouth part just taking out the mouth part and I had to add it to the top because I noticed that the the head wasn't big enough on the top uh, his face wasn't proportional to what the body was I guess so I had to add the clay that I removed from the eye part. This is the eye part, the eye socket. Well, not the eye socket. Well, yeah, the eye socket. Um, I had to add it to the top of the head because the head wasn't long enough. So I just added the clay that I cut off right to the top. Um, and I'm just smoothing it all out. Shaping the mouth, can look nice. Uh, smoothing that, uh, smoothing out the, the inside, the eye socket, and the top part. That part that I added extra clay to, just smooth it out, smooth it all out, making that look nice. Uh, that's what this tool is good for. That's what I use it for. It's a really nice tool to have. But like I said, you guys don't really need tools. If you guys want to go ahead and just do it with your fingers, you guys don't need any tools. If you can't afford any tools, don't feel bad. I didn't have any tools till like recently. I had to save up to get some tools. Even though they're not that expensive, you could get them on eBay really, really cheap. But, um, yeah, so. Uh, I put some black in the mouth. Uh, by the way, my camera died. The ca the battery died, so I had to stop. And I kept making. It. That's why you see the black inside the mouth. I already had put the black in there, <clears throat> and then my camera died, <laughs> so I had to I had to um, uh, recharge the battery and then start all over again. So. Uh, these are the eyes. For some reason, I always make one eye bigger than the other. I have no idea why that is. Maybe because my eye, one one of my eyes is bigger than the other eye. But I always do this in all my characters. I don't. I've always been doing this. I have no idea why, but it just it, it just happens. So I had to take some clay out. Um, I saw that it was still a little bit bigger, so I had to take more clay out. Um, these are the pupils. One eye is looking to the left, and the other one is looking straight up. Make them look like a cuckoo head. <clears throat> cuckoo head, cuckoo head. Uh, this is the jaw part. And I just cut a rectangle shape. I had to measure, make sure that's going to fit within the mouth. Okay. 
take that piece off bottom piece and it has like a little lip thing on the top a little red lip so I roll a little piece of red stick that to the top and then Since the the jaw sticks out a little bit, I had to um, add some more clay to the bottom. That way, it looks like the the jaw stick uh, is sticking out a little bit. That's how I achieved this look. And then I just blend it all in. Go all nice and smooth, like a baby's body. Like the bottom of her baby's cheeks. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the hardest part was just to assemble the whole thing. The face was pretty hard to make too. It wasn't too difficult, but... So there you go, there's the little face. So now there's the top part, the part that holds the head up. Um, I had to edge up all these little things because they were at an angle. So I had to make sure they were all cut. Uh, like the top of a house, you know, a little angle. A little rooftop to it. To make sure it fit right in the middle of the squares. So up the corner of the squares. Up the corner of the box is what I meant to say. <laughs> Add some glue, put them together so they can hold each other up. Like so, I do this to all four corners. Uh, when I started doing the Baldi, uh, all the four characters, a little Baldi series, uh, poly uh, polymer clay, uh, polymer clay. Um, this was the first person I had in mind. The, the first prize was the first character I was gonna make, but I ended up doing Baldi first because I mean, Baldi's the main character of the game, so I decided to go with Baldi first. Uh, this is me shaping the the top, cutting the pieces to make sure uh, that the head fits right inside. I had to keep cutting. It. I, I cut it down like four or five times just to make sure it fit perfectly the way I wanted it to. It's good and then now I'm shaping it a little bit to the face. There you go. This is the wire that hits that hangs out at the bottom. So the two wires I hang at the bottom. And then just fit it inside and then I could cut off the wire. I could cut the wires exactly the size that I wanted to. So that works out pretty good. Just glue the head on first. That way it's nice and straight the way I wanted it to. snap off the wires the size that I wanted to. Just glue them on to the heart. Blue one and the yellow one. And that's it. We are officially finished guys. So now we pop it in the microwave. And here it is. Voila! First prize from Baldi's Basics and Education. Like I said, guys, this is my favorite one. It has a lot of detail into it. I, I enjoy doing this one a lot. Uh, it was fun to do. And like I said, this is the first one I wanted to make. But uh, Alright guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial on how to make first prize from Baldi's Basics and Education. 
Uh, like I said, by far this is my favorite character from all four characters that I made out of Polymer Clay from Baldi's Basics and Education. Let me know which one's your favorite one, guys. I'm really curious to know which one's your favorite one. And if you guys have any suggestions of characters that you guys want me to make from any character, any cartoon, or anything like that, let me know in the comment down below. Um, if you enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, become a creator by subscribing to the channel. Because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.